Joining us now for the Democratic perspective on the race for the White House in 2012 is the chair of the Democratic National Committee, Florida Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Congresswoman, good morning. Good to have you. Good morning, you here. Chris. Thank you. Uh, you just heard the Republican frontrunner Mitt Romney uh, speaking with Erica moments ago and earlier in the broadcast said that President Obama has failed America. And there he was just kind of going off on a, on a bit of a tangent of, uh, of the president putting America on a road to ruin. What are your thoughts and your response to that? Well, uh, Mr. Romney seems to have a puzzling definition of failure. If you look at uh, the, the, the track record of President Obama, he has taken this economy from uh, uh, the precipice of, uh, of, of disaster and turned mm -hmm. things around. And now we've had 14 straight months of private sector job growth. The manufacturing industry has had job growth for 14 straight months. We were literally bleeding 750,000 jobs a month before he took office. And because of the, the, the Recovery Act, because of the investment that we made in the auto industry, I mean, we're, we're, we're going through some revisionist history here that, uh, that Mr. Romney uh, seems to, to have because it was the investment that we made and the bankruptcy combined. And I think the auto industry executives would say that they couldn't have gotten through uh, to, to the other side and been profitable without both. Um, so it, it, I'm not really sure what we need uh, Governor Romney for because we have President Obama who's done a fantastic job. 50% of the Recovery Act was tax cuts. We, we've given 17 tax, different tax cuts to small businesses because that's the engine of job growth. And we continue to move the, the economy in the right direction. So I think the American people are going to continue to be responsive to that. And uh, the collection of Republicans that are on the other side uh, really aren't necessary because President Obama is doing a fantastic job. Well, so let me ask you this then. Two and a half years into his first term, is this now President Obama's economy in both good and bad terms? Because even you mentioned there the last 14 months of seeing all this growth and whatnot. And I know the party line for a number of months has been we inherited this. Uh, the Bush administration did this. So is now the Bush administration now off the books? And now it, can you sit there and say that this is now all the responsibility of this president, both good and bad? Well, th there's no question that President Obama inherited the, you know, the worst economic disaster of any president in generations. But it, his policies have continued, I mean, literally have, have helped the economy do a 180. And now we have continued for 14 straight months to create private sector jobs. We continue to be on the right track. And we need to make sure that we focus on deficit reduction and cutting spending, but do it in a way that help make sure that people engage in shared sacrifice so that we're not slashing and burning education, so that we're not limiting our ability to out-educate and out-innovate and out-build our competitors, and so that we can make sure that we can really have some prosperity for the long term. And, and what the Republicans want to do is end Medicare as we know it, which Governor Romney supports, uh, pile all the hurt on the backs of people who can least afford it in the middle class, and, and continue to give tax breaks for millionaires and billionaires. That's just unacceptable. Yeah, let me, it's unacceptable and I, and I wanna, to the middle class. I want to ask you about health care, too, because that's sure. something the that Democrats are going to hammer Mitt Romney on, that his universal health care plan that he passed as governor of Massachusetts, they say was Obamacare before Obamacare. But let me ask you this. His argument is, you know what, this is what the people of my state needed at the time, and it was good for the state of Massachusetts at the time. But now he feels that's not necessarily <laughs> the best case for the nation. And I guess in layman terms, not to dumb this down, but, but what's wrong with that? What's wrong with it being good for one state, but not good for the entire country. Before Mitt Romney enters the debates with the other Republican candidates, he needs to have a debate with himself on, on where he is on, on any issue, particularly uh, health care. He supported an individual mandate, pushed through a, a smart plan for his own state that has made sure that people have access to coverage. That was a model for the rest of the country. He supported it. it, it, it is absolutely imperative that we make sure that the, the American people have a president who knows where he stands, who stands consistently on principle, who doesn't flip-flop all over the place. I mean, Mitt Romney has done that time and again on the auto, uh, on the auto industry bailout, on the Affordable Care yeah. Act and health care reform, on whether he's pro-choice or not. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at his record. He really can't decide where he wants to be, and that's because he sticks his finger in the wind and is wherever he needs to be politically at the time, and yeah. that's, that's not what people expect or want in their president. And his record will be under the microscope, of course, along with all the candidates. We'll let, sure. me, let me ask you, <laughs> let me just ask you this, though, before I do let you go. I know sure. you were born in Queens, which is the, the, yes. uh, the home district of uh, Congressman Anthony Weiner, who's embroiled in quite the controversy right now. Do you think that uh, your colleague has done enough to explain himself? I, I think Anthony Weiner is dealing with a personal matter, and that's where it should be left. Do you think he's done enough to explain himself, though? I think it's a personal matter, and that's where it should be left. Okay. It's a public matter, though, too. All right, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, thank you very much for taking the thank time. You, Good Chris. to speak with you.